Hi, this is Kirk with Forex Ready Secrets. In this video, I want to share with you a few reasons why traders chase trades. Now, there are many reasons, but we're going to just address a few of them. Uh, one of the reasons is they're afraid they're going to miss out on something. And uh, you might see right here, this big move right here was a news announcement, and then it retraced. And if you look right in here, the whole body from the open to close on both those time frames is only 11 pips. And so, that's what happens is it starts moving, they jump in, it goes a little bit in their favor, and then all of a sudden it comes back, they're negative, and so they jump out and get back, and it comes down, they get back in, and they uh, jump out again and get back in, and pretty soon they've been whipsawed a couple of times in just a, a little bit of time because the uh, market's going up and down. This is hard to trade. Pick charts that are hard to read, or they get bored, and they have to uh, have a trader's fix, so to speak, and they just start taking trades. And we look at the same currency pair, and we look at the uh, uh, smaller time frame. You can see that the it's going up and down, up and down. By the time uh, the signal actually comes, it's late, and that's at one indication that yes, these are good signals, but you have to learn how to read the signals and know when to uh, take a, a good signal and a, a signal that's late, and the market will tell you that. On the same currency pair, let's look at the day. Look what happened. Right here, this is the area that we're looking at on the day chart. That kind of is a little uh, frustrating, and so all the smaller time frames are not giving you good signals. But look at some of the big trend that it had uh, prior. So these are the kind of tra trades you want to find charts that are easy to read. And you start chasing trades because you're so used to having a time like this, and when it starts consolidating and resting, then you uh, jump in and start going for things that uh, you shouldn't take. So when the market's really been moving, then we're all excited, we're making a lot of pips, and, and uh, you don't even realize that you've spent very much time uh, watching the computer because uh, you're making money. But then the market slows down, takes a rest, and so you spend hour after hour watching these trades, and so you start jumping into things. Uh, and if you don't have exact entry and exit signals that you're using, then you're going to have a hard time. You're just going to be guessing at things. So one of the cures for chasing trades would be to move to the larger time frames. And so when you move to uh, the day and the four hour to get your direction, then you can be uh, you can weather these small areas right here because you're in the trade, you're managing it, and you're most likely managing profit, or you get in when they start taking taking off. So when we as traders understand this statement, you get paid to wait. And you're going to be less likely to be chasing trades when you realize that, yes, part of trading is waiting for things to set up. Don't feel like you have to be in a trade all the time. Being on the sideline is a position. It's a safe position because all your money's uh, waiting there to, to go in when the things are going to have the highest probability of you making a, a profit. Use exact entry signals. Don't guess as to when to get in, when to get out. And trust, uh, trust your indicators. They'll tell you the best time to, to make a trade. Practice on the demo account to gain that trust and then move into your live account and then you'll be a, have a better experience in, in your trading. Hope this has helped to you. Bye for now.